inverted yield curve is a situation where the yield on a shorter term bond is higher than the yield on a longer term bond. And this is an unusual state of affairs because as the owner of a bond, you would generally demand a higher yield for tying up your money longer. So one way to think about owning a bond as an investment is if you were lending someone else money. So let's just think about owning a, a US treasury bond. If you were to lend the US treasury money for five years, you might demand a certain interest rate, but you would likely demand a higher interest rate if you were lending the money for longer, say out to 10 years or so. So in the normal state of affairs, the yield on a 10-year bond is higher than the yield on a five-year bond, but that isn't where we are uh, today. Right now, the yield on a, a five-year bond is actually higher than the yield on a 10-year bond. And because this is so unusual, you can very often see a lot of reporting in the media about and what an inverted yield curve is and what it might imply for investors. And one of the things you'll, you'll very often see is that the yield curve inverting can be a, a prediction or can precede the economy going into recession. And certainly we do see that correlation in the historical data, but that isn't enough to determine whether you should make any changes as an investor. And our investment strategy team has actually looked at the data on this going back to 1961. And we found that the yield curve actually inverted nine different times over that history. So again, as you can tell, very unusual state of affairs. Typically, uh, the yield curve is not inverted, uh, but it is, it is right now, so it's worth looking at the historical data. And then we looked at what happens in equity markets in the three and five years after the yield curve inverts. And it turns out in the three years after the yield curve inverts, on average, stocks outperform treasury bills by about 2.7% in terms of a total return over three years after the yield curve inverts. For the five years after a yield curve inverts, the average outperformance for stocks relative to treasury bills is about 10.8%. But I would note that we did see a very wide range of outcomes in that five-year stretch of time. We saw returns as high as positive 68% and as low as negative 41%. So you can see there's a wide range of potential outcomes when you're talking about stock returns. And so I think the main takeaways from this research are that number one, yield curve inversions do not necessarily mean that we're doomed to poor equity returns as you, as you saw from that data. Second, over the long stretch of time, the stock market premium has been positive. And that's even true after the yield curve inverts. And then finally, I would note that stock returns are just too volatile for any one variable to provide a lot of value in predicting future returns. So our best advice is to stick to your long-term plan and maintain your targeted allocation to stocks. If you do have any questions, please reach out to your advisor or click the link in the description below.